guys, it's Kat and I'm back today for another liquid lipstick wear test. I do try to do these on my channel every two weeks or so. I'm going through my whole collection, buying new ones from different brands and I'm putting them all to the test. At the very end, I will do like a ranking of where I think this one that I tried out this week compares to the other ones I've tried. And if you did miss the other ones, they'll be in a playlist. So linked on the screen or in the description box or right at the end you'll find it. Anyway, today we are testing out Sugar Pill. So this is my only Sugar Pill liquid lipstick that I own. Um, I actually got this one from iMats. Um, I will link below where you can buy it, which is the Sugar Pill website. This color is a little bit peculiar. So Sugar Pill don't have many shades. They tend to bring out a couple of limited edition ones. They've got like a permanent pink one. They brought out a shimmery orange for like fall holiday kind of season so um they don't actually have a huge range of these but this is the collaboration that they did with kim chi who is a drag queen um she was on not yeah the last season of rupaul's drag race so last year's season anyway so it's this weird kind of gray purple color and I believe it's also got a bit of shimmer in it. So if you rub it, you can see a little bit of shimmer. I might try to do that in a second. Um, but we're testing out to see how this wears today. I also want to mention that I did keep the box for this, but I can't remember where I put it. So no doubt after I have edited this and uploaded it, I'll come across the box, but... Haha, I found you. So this is the packaging, guys. It's very cute, yellow, light purple. You are a cutie. Thanks. Okay, so if you also are new to my liquid lipstick wear tests, what I tend to do is I apply them. I don't eat or drink for around two hours in the first part of the wear test. I'll check back to see how it wears without eating or drinking. And then I'll check back after eating and then I'll wear it as long as I need to wear it. So. Um, if it, if it wears for eight hours, I'll wear it for eight hours. If it wears for three hours, I'll stop it at three hours. So, um, that's essentially what we do. Before I go on to me applying this, I do want to talk about the packaging. It's exactly the same design as the Jeffree Star packaging. So it's clearly made in the same factory. Um, it's very, very kind of thick, very heavy plastic. Um, this one has like a white cap and gold writing and then the sugar pill around the, um, band there. Uh, I do want to mention though that it says kimchi and that is already rubbing off and I've barely used this. So um, yeah, the printing mustn't be the best, but it is definitely the same uh, company that makes this packaging, but the formulas are very different. I did Google the ingredients for the Jeffree Star one and it is the same formula as the Jouer liquid lipsticks and also Black Moon Cosmetics and I think a few others. So this is less of a unique formula. Whereas when you Google the ingredients of this one, um, it must be a more tailor-made formula for Sugar Pill because there's no other brands that have the same ingredients in their liquid lipsticks. So this is much more of a unique formula but the packaging is the same. Okay, let's get on to me applying this so you can see how well it applies and then I'll let you know what I think on first impressions. So on first impressions, I actually really like this formula. It is a very thin, very wet formula that applies quite opaquely. So I, there was part of me that wanted to build this up and make it a little bit more bold because as it is, it sort of just looks a bit like wishy-washy. Um, but I was like, no, it doesn't really, there's no patchiness, there's no streakiness. So it really doesn't need to be built up. I'm sure if you want a more kind of bold, bold, like opaque lip, you could do it, but that also ruins the longevity of liquid lipsticks generally. It makes them chunkier, it tends to make them wear off a bit patchier. So I thought I'll just go with the way it is now, which um, is a very unusual color. I'm gonna admit, I don't love the color. 
Um, it sort of makes me look a little bit dead and it sort of makes my teeth look a bit, bit yellow. So not in love with the color, but I do really like the formula so far. It doesn't it, feel super dry. I didn't prep my lips. I didn't put lip balm on, nothing. It doesn't emphasize um, kind of dry patches. It does sort of settle a little bit into the creases. So um, I don't know if you can see, but you can see the creases of my lips. So it, it does do that. Um, I can also see a little bit of the shimmer coming through. I might zoom in um, and show you when you rub it, the, the glitter comes out a bit more. I might also swatch this for you. Let's just swatch it. So that's the color there. It looks a lot nicer. Oh, you can see how thin it is. It's really, really thin. But it's a lot nicer and pinker looking on the skin than it actually looks on the lips. And I'm sure you can tell there that it looks like a really thin but even application. So even though you could go in with a second layer to build it up and make it more bold, you really don't need to because it is such a smooth application, which I really like the, the look of and the feel of because the thinner these are, the more comfortable they tend to be. So I'm not sure if you can see that there's some fine glitter in the lipstick. And if you do sort of rub it when it's dry, it tends to enhance it. So it takes off that, that top layer and really does bring out the glitter a little bit more. All right, so it's two hours after I started wearing this and I'm hungry. I want my lunch, so we are checking in. So this is looking pretty much exactly the same as two hours ago when I first applied it. It is super comfortable. It almost feels like a second skin on the lips. So it's not like this layer of plastic, it kind of melds with the skin. So of course the dishwasher is going to finish just as I start filming. Anyway, after two hours, this wears really well. It feels really comfortable. It's, it feels like it's just part of my lips. Um, the one thing that I don't love about this though, is that it is a lot more muted than I would like it to be. So it's, it's like, because it is a thinner consistency, um, it reminds me a lot of the Huda Beauty liquid lipstick that I did a wear test of a couple of weeks ago. Um, that one also had a really thin liquidy consistency, felt like just part of your lips, very comfortable to wear, but that one was a nude. So the fact that it wasn't super bold, it didn't need to be really bold because it was a nude. With this one though, if you're going for like a gray purple, you almost want it, and it's got glitter in it, like you want it to pack a punch and look quite bold on the lips, but this one, it just kind of melds into the lips a bit. It's starting to look a little bit sheerer, not super opaque. And I don't think it works for this color. So besides that, I really like the formula. Um, it's very comfortable. It's nice on the lips. It's wearing well so far. Um, I'm just curious to see how it's gonna go through eating because it is so thin and it would, wouldn't take much to make it start wearing off. So I'm gonna have a salad sandwich now, so nothing too crazy, coffee, um, and we'll check back in probably an hour or so. And also, kiss test, like there's nothing. Like it, it's good, like it definitely does stay on the lips. It's just probably not as opaque as I would expect from a color like this. Okay, so it is about an hour after eating and I'm not super impressed with this. I don't hate it, like, it's just complete, like, it's worn off nicely. It's not super chunky. It's not like a, like around the rim, like you can see the pink is coming through, but it's not like really offensive. And if I went out for lunch and I was wearing this and this is how it looked after lunch, I'd be fine with it. So it's not bad. It's just that it hasn't worn, I realize I've got one nail polish on and all the rest off. Anyway, so yeah, it's not bad. It's just that I think it's got to the point where I need to reapply. Like if I would, if I wanted to continue wearing this, I'd have to reapply. So I'm going to end the wear test here. I am actually going to do a reapply test because this is so thin and it's not chunky and uncomfortable. I feel like you could very easily just go in and reapply it. So I'm going to test that out now. So that looks so much better. Yeah, so reapplying it is really easy. It, it doesn't make it feel too cakey. It doesn't make it look chunky because it was such a thin formula to begin with. So 
I actually don't have a problem with the formula of this and how it wore off. Um, I sort of expect that lipsticks you often need to touch up anyway and as long as it's a lipstick where you can easily touch up without it being too much of a problem um, then I'm cool with it. So I did quite like the formula of this. Um, it wasn't bold, it wasn't you know really punchy, it wasn't super long lasting but a lot of the time um, the problem with lips, liquid lipsticks is you might get the bold punchy long wearing sort of formula but it be really 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 dry and uncomfortable to wear and you just want to end up like scrubbing it off after a couple of hours. This wasn't like that at all. I think it is a really comfortable really like it like melds into your lips. It's really it's quite a nice formula. It's just that the color is a bit jarring. Um, it, and for this color, I don't think it was opaque enough in the finish. You definitely probably needed, definitely probably, that doesn't make sense. You would have needed two coats to get it as opaque as you might have wanted. And then it might have worn off a bit chunkier or patchier if you did that. So I don't hate it. I just don't love it. So for me, it's sort of like right in the middle of my list. Um, it's definitely not in the top. It's definitely not in the bottom. I really would love to try a couple more shades from the range because I think I would love it more. It's just that this color is a little bit like not really my thing. And not only is the color not my thing, but I think you can notice it wearing off quite obviously because you go from having light gray to like pink and it's quite noticeable. It's not like a nude where it, when it starts fading off, you sort of go, oh, you can't really tell. With this one, you could tell. So I was a little bit confused by this and where to put it in my ranking. I'll put like stuff here um, because this performs very similar to the Huda Beauty one, but I looked back at that video and I think I wore that for about seven hours, whereas this is the three hour mark and I feel like I need to re reapply. And that could just be because of the shade. If it was a pink, if it was a nude, I might not have felt the need to reapply, but it's definitely not as good as the Huda Beauty one for the fact that it doesn't last that as long as that one did. Um, then the one below that I believe was the Kylie Jenner. Once again, that lasted like eight hours or something. So I feel like it's gonna sit under that one. This is a lot more comfortable than the ColourPop ones. ColourPop for me, I find that some of them are really, really flaky and really horrible. Other ones are all right, but they're still quite dry. They sit on your lips and they just feel, you always feel like you have something on your lips. So even though the ColourPop ones are a lot cheaper than this and have a huge shade range that can like suit everyone, I am very weary about them because some work well, some don't. So I don't like them all that much. I don't have much faith in them. But also this formula is a lot, lot, lot more comfortable than those. Those are very dry. They feel very cakey and they are quite distractingly cakey. Whereas this is a lot more comfortable and I'd be much happier to reach for this um, to wear to work every day as long as it wasn't this color. So I'm going to say that this is below Kylie Jenner, but above ColourPop. Okay, so that was my liquid lipstick wear test for this week. Um, do check out my playlist if you want to see the other ones. Um, I do overall quite like the formula of this. I do have faith that the other shades are probably just as good a formula and I do want to buy a couple of more, like more wearable colors. I think, um, yeah, this just is a bit strange. It's a bit strange. But I love kimchi and um, I do quite like this formula. So um, not my favorite, but I might revisit this down the track and find one that's a little bit more wearable or a little bit more me. And um, I might do a second wear test on the sugar pill liquid lipsticks in the future. So if you want to see more videos, they'll be on the screen. Um, don't forget to give this a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And if you have any liquid lipsticks that you want me to test out soon, let me know and I'll try to t track them down. I do have like Milani, Sleek. Um, I've got the Balm. I've got Dose of Colors. I've got a few that I do have coming up in the next few weeks. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.